has a youth hockey team caught in the middle. The city trying to figure out how to close a $1.3 million shortfall in a budget that's already stretched thin. KXY4's John Hendricks shows us how a handful of kids are now being kept off the ice. As you could see here on my shirt, it says I'd rather be playing hockey. They could be the next Gretzky. One day I want to join the Olympics. Or the next person from Washington to sport a gold medal. I can't if that thing, if they close down the ice wing. But those dreams now put on hold. The city of Moses Lake has decided to close its Larson Rec Center and ice rink until further notice. The city is short about 1.3 million for August and had to do something about that. City manager Joseph Gravinsky says the shortfall stems from a property tax dispute between the county and REC Silicon. According to the city, the company's property tax was assessed at $671 million for the 2014 tax year. REC Silicon appealed to Grant County and the assessment was lowered to $250 million. Well, that left a $1.3 million hole in the city's budget. The State Board of Appeals says the 2012 assessment year is in a second appeals process as well. With all that's going on, the city manager says they're running out of money in their general fund. We've used uh, reserves in order to cover for some of the other years. Uh, so we're, we're basically out. Earlier this month, to save the budget, the city council decided to divert money from the street repair and reconstruction fund. They've raised the ambulance utility rate and closed the ice rink and surrounding facilities. I wish it didn't have to happen. Uh, nobody really wants to see any of those facilities close. They have been really terrific assets for the city. From November until June, uh, hockey's our life. Without it, I don't know what we're going to do this winter. That move has upset parents and kids who are now trying to save their hockey season. Told him that he had some other options. He's not very happy about it. And I told him that I'm out there, you know, pounding the pavement, trying to save the rink, you know, for, for everybody to use. Parents like Jamie Erickson are trying to get pledges to raise the $125,000 to keep the facilities open. It's not just the hockey kids that use this facility. There's the BMX track and the batting cages. They have a computer lab. I mean, this is an outlet for a lot of kids, and it's not just the hockey kids that are suffering. I got it to the very end till they say no and it's done. We'll just keep fighting until then. And we'll just sit here unused, deteriorating, um, and that just doesn't seem like a, a viable option. These parents are hoping to save their child's future. The kids hoping to save a dream. I want to go to North Dakota to play for college, and then I want to get drafted by the Chicago Blackhawks. Reporting in Moses Lake, John Hendricks, KXLY4 News. Well, we have reached out to REC Silicon for comment and have not heard back yet. The State Board of Tax Appeals says this could take years to get sorted out. The Moses Lake City Council will hear from the Moses Lake Hockey Association next Tuesday.